is up the world that is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here hanging out over by the scale model you know it has been a minute since we've been over here and a couple of you guys were like man you gotta update that scale model slip and uh, i think a lot of people may not even know what this is this is a scale model of the ribbon it's one three hundredth size scale of the ribbon it's perfect look there's the look see same this is the scale model, same as the ribbon. So um, I went ahead and updated uh, it. You can see here that we dug out underneath there. And um, so now we need to, well, actually, we do need to update it. We need to put, because it used to be just a hole here, but now there's the ribbon in there. Perfect. So you can see it's very ribbony. This is the uh, the uh, my car elevator down to the mine. This is the my car elevator up to the top, the two platforms that they're on, the ribbon, the ribbon, the top of the ribbon. It's perfect. Scale model updated. All right. So I got a couple ideas for some projects we want to do today. But first, before we do that, I wanted to say thank you guys very, very much for the unbelievable support on the last video. We got 2,600 likes, I do believe, at the last time that I looked. And it's amazeballs. You guys are amazeballs. And I wanted to say thank you. Um, and today we're going to do some stuff things. Oh, I want to see, uh, just keep up the support. I guess I'm going to, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much again. Uh, but today we're going to start to work on getting this organized. This looks like a messy person lives here. This looks like an unorganized person that doesn't have an ICS, an inventory cleanliness system. I have an inventory cleanliness system. This is what my storage looks like right now. That is crap. We're not going to do that. We're going to fix it up. So um, some projects we're going to work on today. Yeah, we're going to fix that up. We're going to get some walkway stuff and things done. We're going to get all this moved down into the new storage area, and we're going to delete this. This is going to go away. Um, and the funny thing is about this has been crazy um, is that I keep forgetting that there's no glass here now. And I'll be running around. I'll be like, whoa, whoa. And it'll just fall off the edge. So um, I've been trying to remember that there, uh, yeah, there's no glass there now. So I um, started working on the storage area over in here. We're going to do something kind of simple, utilitarian, nothing major, super amazing, um, but something cool. It'll be cool. So uh, the ICS is going to drain off into this system right here. We're going to build a little structure around it. It's going to be BA. And then I was working on just kind of how this is going to work over here. And right now I have like 34 chests, I think, up there. And everything I have is stored in the 34 chests. So I I was taking a look down here at different stuff and things we could do. And I was like, what should we do? And uh, this is what I came up with. So I think we're going to go four chests high uh, in this area. And then we're just going to uh, slab underneath here like so. And then in the front, we are going to do some brick. Um, and I am going to use a oh, weight like this. And like so. And I think... No, 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 no. I don't know if we're going to do alternating here or not. Let's take a look at it really quickly. So we might do alternate, alternate, like so, like this maybe. I think we better. Bam. And then, yeah, okay. And then we are going to um, go ahead and use item frames in here as well. So we'll be putting some frames up like so to denote the stuff and things in each place. Um so yeah, that's going to be one of the things that we work on today. We're going to get organized. I also brought Casey down. And I know you guys have been talking about a Casey vlog. I got some video of him uh, playing with some other dogs the other day. We took him to, or um, the previous Yon fiance took him out to do some visiting. So I think I'm going to make, try to make something out of that. I haven't looked at the footage yet. So it may not be a vlog as much as just some time that you guys get to check out and uh, Casey hanging out. And it's been a long time since we updated. The last time I think you guys saw him, he was like 20 pounds. 15, tw I think 20 pounds. Now he's like 35 pounds now. He's big, big dog. Or, I mean, he's a little dog, but he's bigger than he was. So, all right. So, what I want to do first is I kind of want to take a look at, I have, I'm kind of take a look at over here what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, so, what we're going to do first, I'm trying just to organize my thoughts. Uh, what we're going to do is get this storage area completed and then get all the stuff moved over. So, I'm going to make some progress and I will be right back. So it has been several forevers later, and this is all that remains. Uh, I can't even describe to you <laughs> how long that took. I can't even believe it took that long to move all this crap. So um, it was all of the crap. So we're just temporarily setting up some stuff and things over here for nowsies uh, with the anvil and the potion stand. So we're just going to set that over here. I might, I'm might. i going to do something. I, I still have yet to 
decide where Anvil, Potions, and Ferni will go. I think Ferni will go here. So here's what we got worked out. We still have some expandability, which is really great. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chests totally empty. And um, there isn't really a ton of method to my madness. Beyond that, I just put things that I want... Uh, to be closer to the center. It was just kind of like, you know, like eggs I'm not going to need very often. Although this chest I, I'm in quite a bit, which is like, I just drop off mob drops here. Uh, and ink goes in there too. But um, yeah, so it's just some stuff and things all around everywhere. Uh, you know, dirt, blocks, things. This is all the nether stuff and things. And then what I did down here, because the, the way the frames work, um, they're not like to the right or the left. Because you can see that these are, are left aligned. So like the frames to the left and there's a chest, frames to the left and there's a chest. And then on these side, it's, these side, it's right aligned. Redstone, chest, you know, frame, chest. Uh, here, they're not aligned in any sort of a way. So what I just did was kind of put all the smooth down inside of here. And then there's some little bit of extra room there. And then, um, you know, cobble, I have a little bit of extra room there. And then I did glass, colored glass, and some dyes, and then some sand over here. So this is kind of the glassy, sandy one. And so, yeah, you know, it makes some sense. And I think it looks pretty good. It's not bad at all. I didn't take a look at it from... Can't. I mean, we can't even really see the back from anywhere. So the back doesn't matter. Um, but if we were to go up... Hey, I know, Kate. Okay. Thanks, man. Casey said it looks great. So um, if we were to come up to the top, you could just see it's pretty straightforward. But I think it's kind of nice, and it works, and it's a thing. So bam, storage uh, system thingy doodler complete. Oh, and I also moved the ICS, where I got this working. So the ICS collection's over here, and then you can see there's a couple things in there. We can go ahead and put them into their organization perspective chests, like so. And it's the thing. It's all organized. But we have another project that we want to do today, and it involves... These guys and these guys, we're going to grab all of this stuff. And uh, yeah, so the other project that we have um, is in New Herm. Oh, I still got to tear this down. We got to tear this down. Bam! <laughs> Rain's down here now. <laughs> what are we on? Y18 and a half, and it's raining down here. That's crazy. All right, so look at that, guys. It goes all the way up to the top. And as you might have seen in the montage, Cleo came by and dropped a couple books off for us. So a renewal notice, and we can read them, but we got something we got to do. We're going to go to the top. Let's read them on the way up. Your subscription to the Hermiton Herald is up for renewal. If you have enjoyed hearing the unbiased and completely factual-based news, please consider resubscribing. I just may. Pungents and Schism are guilty. In a completely unsurprising twist of the daring duo of Pungents and Schism were found guilty by a court of their peers. The decision was... Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, how we can't... Isn't that cool looking? I was going to say with really good or English, how can, how are we can get to the other side? How are we can get to the other side? Has can we please is lolcat. So um, I really like it open. Oh, I really like it open. All right, we're going to head up to the top. Where's my Hermilton Her Hermilton? Harold. Good at talking. There is no Owen Slipgator. Oh my god, I'm going to make an episode called There Is No Owen Slipgator. Um, superb showing their, uh, Esqu Esquire who, uh, words, things. Who wants it to be known that he is available for court appearances, birthdays, weddings, and bachelor parties, and promises to try to avoid the death penalty, which is true. However, the bounty of evidence brought against them by P.I.D. Mac was not enough to convince the dude that they neglected to have the tears. Finally, they destroyed the hope to free the most time to admit... Dastardly. I'm just going to say the good words. Stupidly. Stupidities, pardon me. That's right. They're going to the same asylum. 
Have you seen this sheep? Lost sheep. Last seen wearing a white coat. Answers to the name of Sean. <laughs> new hermits. Wait, new show for hermits. A new TV station has started up. The coverage of all the latest happenings in the town have been covered by. Yes, TFC is starting to do a hermit news thingy doodler. So, um, all right. This is the thing that I've been wanting to do since since we started since I started doing this project since I started doing the removal of all the stuff and things so this is the very most highestest of all of the platforms and this and now we're at Y 200 so we're not all the way at the build height but we're at Y 200 so what happens if we throw a pearl all the way down one two three four that's four seconds I was hoping for more seconds it's still pretty rad though right guys so I'm really excited about it. I'm glad that we have the, I can't, I have to go back up the thing. I'm glad that we have everything opened up. Um, I'm glad that we did it. I think that it looks great. I think it's a super great addition. Oh, also you guys piped up about the, the chasms, the crevasses. Um, it was basically 50, 50, leave them and hide them and don't hide them. Um, so because it's extra work and it was about 50, 50, we're going to leave them. I think they're kind of neat. I mean, they're not horrible, and they're not great. They're kind of neat, though. So we're going to leave those. But there's another project that I was telling you guys about. We are about to do that before I got distracted by this PDF bit. So I'm going to grab some materials, and I'll meet you over at New Hermiton, where we will start new project that I talked about said thing. So here we are back in New Hermiton, and it's raining. So I had the particle effects turned to minimal because... Oh, wait. Is the sun coming out? No, I had the particle effects turned to minimal so you can't hear the rain because it's never-ending rain, um, and it's not nice. So we can't sleep. So uh, over here, Todd, uh, Biffa's dog Todd, uh, wait, not Todd, Dewey, Biffa's dog Dewey died. Biffa was mentioning to me that he was pretty sure that his dog died because of the water from my starter house. So the... It's perfect. It was a perfect throw. I could have done this from the beginning. So the um, Hermitcraft uh, Safety Building and Safety Commission that is made up of um, me has decided that the water uh, can be no more. It can has be no more. Um, it has to go. And it, it really is one of those things where I thought it was kind of cool. It looked cool. It was keeping mobs away and all that. But I don't want it to accidentally be killing people's pets or, you know, a horse wanders in, someone's favorite horse, and then it kills it. Like, that's not cool, man. We can't be having that. So it's, it's a safety hazard. And, and you guys may or may not know my motto when it comes to safety, safety third. That's why I wait to see if something's dangerous before fixing it. I don't try to, you know, figure out ahead of time because that would just be using your brain. I just am... I just want to make sure things are pretty, and then once they're pretty, oh look at this! It's like a big reveal. Da, da. This is a reveal noise, <laughs> I guess. All right. So what I thought we would do instead of the water is, uh, does there water? Is there source blocks all down inside of there too? Well, whatevs. I thought we would just use blue stained glass. So um, we're gonna get a very similar effect. It'll stay the color that we like, um, and it'll be a cool thing. So this way we can do this. Now, I don't know how much stained glass we need. Uh, I assume just enough. Um, so I'm just gonna place a few of its right here for now and just kind of give it so we can give it a sea look thing get B stained glass perfect because this ain't hard enough to place as it is all right so just a little bit yeah see it's like the same effect completely actually you know what even looks better so um on the yeah i'm gonna go ahead and place all of the stained glass in and then when it's finished i will bring you back so we can take a look at it and we're done. Look at it in all of its glory. It looks basically the same. And it's still now safe. So we got our glass up all the way around. Everything's good. Still blue. I like it. Still a little bit different. Stands out. Not the normal stuff and things. And uh, yeah, it's good. So I left some water in here and just put a little thingy doodle barrier over there. You know what? Let's stick a little one of these thingy doodle barriers right here too. Bam. Can't go back there, man. Nope. So, all right. Very, very cool. Got all this stuff in my inventory still, but, um, yeah, which bothers me. I need a mobile ICS. Oh, and Suzuma Void gave us this, but I didn't, I'm going to place it somewhere, but I didn't place it yet. 
It's an, a UHC contestant award. I don't know if he's trying to say something like, uh, you didn't win. <laughs> but no, I don't think it was. I think he's just being re really, really nice of him to give us all like a little award. So really cool. Um, and I'm going to set it up somewhere back at the 1-8 for sure. Or I said the ribbon for a oh, great 27 comments about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to set it up back at the ribbon. Uh, but the first thing, the other thing we want to do is what? 7th edition Hermitson in stock. I already got it. It was pretty good. Hey, Carol. So um, here's where we go. Enter copy payment. Back to you. Service in. Wait. Service payment and instructions. I don't want to do. I want a subscription. Subscription info book and chest. How does this work? One diamond for your issue directly to your door. Leave your name in this book and where you want it delivered along with payment. Of your next edition will turn up in your mailbox. Slip the ribbon. I guess she already knows that I want it. So I'll just leave this. Wait, I need an anvil. Give me an anvil immediately. There. Why is there not one when every, there it is. Slips payment. Payment. I can type it. I can't type it. So we'll just rename the diamond so she knows it's mine. Bam! All right, so we got our, I got our, uh, the resubscription over to the Herald. I got an award from Suzuma for uh, being a contestant in the UHD, which is rad. And the last thing that I wanted to do today is go through the maze. Whoa! Oh man, so this is like one of these, and then one of these. It's kind of neat. It's kind of dangerous. Could just use a ladder, maybe. Just the thing. Entrance. All right, so. Uh, Mumbo's got his maze set up. If you remember correctly, last time we were in here, we kind of crushed the scores. Now, Mumbo's got his times here in, in ticks, I guess is how it is. And so the way that you do this is, um, one, once time has been read, please hit reset. Okay, so, yes, this is how it works. You go through here and the timer starts. I think we should read the thing, maybe, besides me explaining it, instead of me <laughs> explaining it. There's so many zombies everywhere. Anyway, instead of me explaining, I'll just read this. Make sure the timer is reset. No items in the hopper. Get yourself prepared with any buffs you want. Buffs? I'm not using buffs. There shouldn't be buff. Speed buff would be cheating. Jump down the hole behind you. Complete the maze. You will be timed automatically. Read the number of items in the hopper. That's your time. Write down the number you got in the book and reset. So let's just go make sure that there's nothing in here. All right, let's just do it. I'm just ready. Bam! All right. That's amazing. That's amazing music. It's amazing music. So um, I haven't, as you can see, I did not memorize the maze in any way, shape, or form. But uh, I feel like I'm doing pretty good right now. I feel like that we're doing really great. Um, so we shall. Oh wait, no crap. I think this is a. I think this is definitely the wrong. Oh, good, sweet, perfect. All right, we're going to go this way this time. And then my sense of direction is failing me. I feel like we did it. We're almost there. It's home stretch. Home stretch. Wait, this way? This way? And no, crapo. Run. No, I'm freaking what? This is the worst. The last level totally sucking out. Bam. All right, let's see what we did. Oh, All right, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit worried. I can't, I have no idea. I don't know how to count in ticks, so I don't know how many it would be. Let's take a look and see how many ticks it is. So um, I really hope, more than anything, I'm very competitive and I just want to beat the pants off Mumbo. So let's take a look and see how many how many ticks we got. 64, 64, 128, and 5, 133. 133, is that right? Because we can put one. Yeah, 128 and 5, 133. And what's the best time Mumbo has in here? So let's go ahead and put slip. 133, baby. And with some exclamation points. So we got the number one bestest time ever. Let's push this button and watch the magic happen. Red so magic. It's amazing. So we got the best time ever on the maze. Uh, 133 ticks. And then as far as being able to get out of here... You basically just have to pearl out. And then I think that the zombie noises are in there to keep you like on your toes. 
I don't know. I think it's a thing. But anyway, that was really cool. So we got our uh, Hermitson Herald subscription, beat the pants off the maze, the Hermitson Safety Commission uh, redesign on the house. Man, it's been a really busy day. So I think it's really cool now that you can see down inside of there. I don't know why. It just tickles me. I've not seen a build like that before, really, where there's like an open hole. And I don't know. It just does it. I, just, I don't know. It's a thing. It does it for me. But that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope that you guys really enjoyed the episode. Make sure if you did, you show me your support and uh, hitting the like button. I want to thank you again for your support in the last video. Uh, if you wait, if you like the video, please don't forget the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yeah. <laughs>